Good morning, my friends. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I was reminded this morning of a song that I used to sing a lot in the beginning of this pandemic or the wilderness experience that I would call it. And a friend of mine, uh, Bobby and Malcolm, her husband, had made the CD for us. And, and Bobby and I, we had a group going in the mornings, early in the mornings on Tuesday mornings, praying. And we would listen to this city playing. And there was one song in it that just gripped my heart. I would play it over and over while I was swimming in the pool. And even my kids would say, Mom, we can hear you, just your city, as loud as I would play and sing as loud. And one of the songs that just was so precious to me was, Take courage, my heart, stay steadfast, my soul. And it was the line there, I would be singing, he's in the waves, he's in the waves, because I would think he can stop the waves, he can stop the storm. And one day Terry told me, you know, you've been singing that song, he's in the waves. It really is, he's in the waiting. He's in the waiting. And I didn't understand that part until I really listened carefully. And it says, hold on to your hope. As your triumph unfolds, he's never failing. God is never failing. And it just encouraged me every time I sang that song. And this morning, I was reminded of that because in chapter 12 of Genesis, God starts meeting with Abraham. Here we meet Abraham and he's the son of Terah and God meets with him. God says to Abraham, and the Lord said unto Abraham, get you out of your country, from your kindred, from your father's house, unto a land that I will show you. And now the Lord gives him promises. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing and I will bless them that bless you and curse them that curse you and all the families of the earth be, will be blessed in you. And here is Abraham meeting with the Lord God of the heavens and the earth, the amazing God that is faithful. He has making him promises and it says the next verse, Abraham obeyed, departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And then it says, Abraham was 75 years old. And when I read that again, it reminded me that, yes, God promised him that, but he was 75 years old. And then in between, before his promises came to be, in chapter 15, God meets with him again. And he says, Abraham, don't be afraid. For I am your shield in verse 1 of chapter 15. And then it says in verse 5, Look now to, toward heaven and tell all the stars if you are able to number them. And the Lord said, And I will make you as the stars of heaven. And in verse 6, And Abraham believed the Lord. And this was counted to him for righteousness. Abraham became the father of faith for us, where he believed the Lord, even though nothing is happening at this point. Yes, his life is going on. God is meeting with him, encouraging him, saying, Fear not, Abraham. I am your reward. I am the God going before you. But then finally, in chapter 21, this is the point I want to bring up this morning. Chapter 21, verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. And then verse 2, at the set time of which God had spoken to Abraham, to him, the Lord met Sarah and Sarah had the baby. And this is where I was amazed again, because in verse 5, Abraham was a hundred years old. He waited 25 years. Yes, the Lord met him in between to encourage him and say, fear not, Abraham, I'm going to do what I promised you. Just wait on me, wait on me. And that is how we feel sometimes when you're waiting on something, when you're praying for something, we have the word of God. He meets with us day by day, encouraging us and telling us, 
Don't be afraid. I'm with you. Yes, I promised you those things, but you have to wait because while you wait, it says in Isaiah 40, 31, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We're renewing our strength, our hope in the Lord. We're constantly clinging on to the Lord. And so something is happening in us while we are waiting. James wrote about it. Paul the Apostle wrote about it. While you wait, faith and hope and perseverance and patience will have their way. So you are perfect. God is working in us. He waited 25 years and he got his promise. We can wait on the Lord and renew our strength because the Lord has promised he will be with us while we are waiting he is strengthening us and saying take courage stay steadfast for the lord and hold on to your hope because your promise will unfold your promise will come god is faithful be blessed today